Hello, in this uh, AWS uh, restart program, I wish to demonstrate about this uh, 189 lab that is uh, optimized utilization. Okay, this is uh, one of the important lab. I just start the lab and I explain about the objectives of this particular uh, lab activity. So in this activity, uh, yes, I have started the lab. So in this activity, we will uninstall, okay, we will uninstall the, de uh, the decommissioned local database from a cafe instance to decrease the instance storage requirements. And also we will also change the instance requirements uh, type from T3 micro to reduce the cost. Okay, previously there can be I think T3 small, uh, we are reducing it to T3 micro. So, and then we will also go through some of the cost explorers also billing and of course. So, this is the diagram you can see here in this uh, before optimization and after optimization. Uh, so, here we see this one, we have a decommissioned MariaDB database uh, T2 small instance. So, we are removing uh, this uh, decommission and then we are moving ahead with uh, this uh, uh, replacing this uh, T2 small to T2 uh, what you call micro instance. So, this is the first part of the task one which is uh, optimize the website to reduce cost okay so later what we are going to do is that in task 2 once this is done we are going to use this pricing calculator to estimate the AWS service cost okay so we have some exercise to learn about the pricing cost so let the exercise let the lab get through so that we can go into task 1 okay yeah, finally, after around 8 to 10 minutes, the lab is ready. So, I just click on this uh, AWS, okay, uh, which will open a window, okay. So, yeah, we can even, one I'll duplicate. So, this I'll be using for uh, what you call as uh, EC2. So, the task one is that we need to uh, go to this uh, log into this system uh, just log into this uh, cafe system uh, we have this two instances running you can see one is your cafe instance just uh, copy your public IP this is my cafe instance this is my public public IP and also I download this uh, what you call as uh, this uh, uh, PPK keys okay so I log in to put it to this uh, public uh, using this public IP and uh, yeah I can use this uh, use the same one and of course in connection I will make it as 30 yeah SSH or and say this lab user PPK which is in my downloads folder. EC2-user. Yeah, I successfully logged in. And you configure your CLI also using this. Let me identify the region first and then we create a this configure. So it mentioned as US West hyphen 2. And then I can say that this configure. So here I need to have this access key also go to show. Yeah, this is your access key. Copy. It's a list. And then next is a secret key. Okay. The region is as described West hyphen two. And output can be JSON. Okay, so this uh, configures my 1.1.3. Okay, let's have one dot. Uh, now uh, connect to your CLI host. Yes, I have already connected to the CLI host. Let me connect to this uh, CLI host. So I have two uh, hosts uh, which are running. You can see this is CLI host. Okay, uh, follow the same instructions, but here we are having a different one. CLI host is having the public IP. Uh, I just copy down CLI host. This is my public IP. I use the same. Uh, this is CLI host. I am into the CLI host uh, in the SSH window for the cafe instance. 
so this is my what you call as uh, uh, cafe instance and uh, this is my cli host i have kept it there and you can see it so this is my cli instance cli host the name is given so what i need to do is that from the cafe instance uh, stop this so sudo uh, system cpl stop mariadb yeah so also i can remove this uh, mariadb server yeah the server is getting decommissioned it is now done so determine the instance id of the cafe instance okay so it is uh, i so and so just make a note this is my instance id just make a note right so hi so and so so now let me uh, what you call as uh, uh, stop the instance cafe instance okay i'll replace with this instance id okay this cafe instance id with uh, so and so so yes so copy i'll stop and then uh, yeah stop the instance yes i stop the instance so now yeah from your cli instance from my cli what i do yeah i will uh, change the instance type to t3 micro okay uh, you can also see now this is uh, stopped actually this instance uh, now the cli is t3 micro okay so uh, yeah change the instance type of uh, sorry not this one the other other instances you can see in the instances dashboard uh, the instances yeah this is t3 small from here i'm trying to uh, sorry uh, i'll try to change the instance from t3 small uh, to t3 micro okay so i just stop the instance i'll run from here modify this attribute okay so i think i need to change one more element here I need to replace this instance ID. I'll just run this. I'll run this command which I had copied. Okay, it will replace this instance type too. Yeah, you must specify a region also. Yes, we need to configure this. Let me just configure. I think we are not done that. Obviously, configure access key ID. I specify this. Okay, secret access key. The okay. So now let me run this command once again. see okay let me run the command once again yeah i think uh, this time it should successfully run so let me see by modify yeah it has changed to t3 micro okay you have to be very careful you have to copy paste those things and now let me start the instance let me start the instance using this cli the other one my 
my instance and capital instance ID. I need to replace with my ID. Yeah, I'm starting the instance, and I can see the status. Yeah, it has started now. The instance has been successfully uh, resized. Okay, to uh, from T to small, uh, T three small to T three micro has started you can describe the instances and see uh, whether the status is up or not so here by this time it should run yeah it is running it is running and it has shown also the public id and all those things yeah so i can uh, test my cafe website okay downgraded public id so this is my public IP, the new public IP, which is here. I can say HTTP slash cafe. Yeah, the website is running. The website is running. So this completes my task one. Okay, decommissioning and also uh, reducing the size of the instance. So here in this task two, we are learning about this pricing calculator to do the estimate of this one. So how do I do is this? Uh, uh, yeah, specifically first calculate the cost of the uh, T3 small using this pricing calculator. Okay. So yeah, task one, uh, task two dot one. Uh, you go to this URL. Okay. Just copy this. This is over. Calculator.aws. So let us learn about how you can uh, create an estimate. So just click this uh, create an estimate, configure EC2. Yeah, just say EC2, configure. A region should be uh, okay, North Virginia, the US is hyphen 1. Uh, if you are prompted to confirm region change okay so just to select to north virginia yeah just say change okay now we will take a task uh, uh, choose the advanced estimate more options will be there in advanced estimate okay so instance type to linux and workload constant uses number of instance one so this is already in unix constant workload number of instance one leave as it is so now in instances you have several instances we will select t3 small you can select t3 uh, small otherwise you can write it here uh, t3 dot small yeah this is easier i have selected yeah uh, t3 small and on demand you can so just uh, scroll down there are various plans which are there to select on demand this will give you a hardly pricing also and general purpose is 40 gb okay general purpose ssd storage is uh, 40 gb i am changing to 40 gb okay and no snapshot storage. I'm not requiring any snapshot storage. No, maybe uh, no snapshot. Add to my estimate. Scroll down. You can say add to my estimate. So this is a total of 12 months cost is 230 uh, US dollars. You can see you can. Uh, okay. So this is monthly cost of 19 US dollars, upfront is zero. So in this way, you can pay every month uh, a cost of uh, 19 uh, 20 dollars, okay, 19.18 dollars, yeah. So add to my estimate, save and share, agree and continue. Uh, you can save and share, agree and continue. Yeah, this is your public URL. Copy the public link. Yes, I can also record to my this thing. The calculator which is given. 
scroll down and of course uh, you can also uh, try to give this particular explanation using this URL also to anyone this is the cost and detailed cost is there yeah export this cost and monthly cost of so and so export estimate yes into a CSV file also you can export CSV or even a PDF say okay your excel sheet is also already you can open and view this uh, cost alright yes okay so uh, this is how the cost monthly cost and uh, you can see uh, these things even you can do the other costs also maybe for ec2 entry for the storage amount of 20 gb you can try for uh, different other purposes and then you can submit for end lab uh, i think uh, that's all we have a fair understanding about how to decommission the server uh, and also reduce uh, remove the application and also uh, do the change uh, using cli the from t3 small to t2 uh, t3 micro and then how to do the pricing calculation. Thank you and uh, bye.